how did you come back from failure when you were all wingers have that shocking game? How did you yeah. bounce back from that? Yeah, just, just a quick story. When I when I was sixteen and as a YTS Winston, when I was turned seventeen, he was offered a, a professional contract if the manager thought he was good enough. And I was at the end of my first year of my YTS. I remember going into Martin Dobson's office. And he went, right, David, he said, it's, it's a defining part of your career now. I've made a decision on you. Um, and he said, to, these are his exact words, you're not the best player. You'll never be the best player, but you've got the best attitude I've ever seen. Wow. And he said, your attitude alone has warranted you a first-year professional contract at this football club. And I thought, and that has stuck with me throughout my career and yeah. when you talk about bounce back or bounce back ability where you've not had a good time yeah. I always revert back to having a positive fantastic attitude yeah. having the desire the enthusiasm the passion the energy and the character to come through whatever's thrown at you right. regardless of how good I was as a footballer or people perceive me as being as a good footballer I always had the positive attitude desire, passion and enthusiasm and uh, an energy to want to prove myself week in, week out. And even in life now, it's that positivity that got me to the stage where I did get to in my footballing career. Through all the knockbacks, as I say, as a winger, you can be in and out of football and have good games and bad games. But I just knew if I, my attitude was spot on, eventually I would get that, that um, opportunity to be the best I could possibly be. And I believe I got to the very best I could be because of my attitude within, within football. 